volcanoes, earthquakes, global warming, global swarming, deadly weather alerts, terror alerts, wars, rumors of wars, financial chaos. Folks are afraid of just about everything except going to hell. I mean, there's so much uncertainty that I'm starting to wonder if some unbelievers might soon be willing to rethink their negative attitude about Jesus. If they know a better savior, they would have hired him to fix the problems of the world. Perhaps that's why some assume the time of the Antichrist is near. Some people will look for a savior anywhere but in the Bible. Only God knows for sure when the end will come, <laughs> but it certainly seems like the beginning of the end is in sight. Right now, many in our nation seem to fear another pandemic. I think there are worse things. I think the world has gone crazy, and I have proof. When I was a kid, we used to collect baseball cards of our favorite players. In the 1960s, I gave up that hobby and entrusted my entire shoebox of cards to my cousin. These were the early, early 1960s and mid 1960s stars of baseball. They included guys like Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris, Ernie Banks, and most of the players who became legends. Years later, I heard about young Palestinian children collecting trading cards of suicide bombers in Israel. Now, can you imagine such lunacy? Newly minted Muslim martyrs were promoted as heroes to Arab children and made into role models of hatred with their own suicide bomber trading cards. Of course, that's crazy and would never be tolerated in America. No, Americans wouldn't uh, support terrorists. Americans wouldn't promote things like Hamas and Palestinian murderers of innocent civilians. Americans know better than that stuff, right? But what you might not know is that some people in America they have a different disease. Have you ever been to Las Vegas? A few years ago, my wife and I had to attend a broadcaster's convention in Sin City. One evening, we went for a walk to see the fancy hotels and all the pretty shops and just to just look at the lights. To our amazement, Hundreds of Mexican immigrants, both men and women, gathered on street corners, passing out trading cards of naked women. Literally, thousands of these illicit naked pictures littered the glittered Vegas Strip. While parents paraded small children through the street, poor immigrants gave away thousands of free naked lady trading cards. Images of nude sex divas seem to have replaced sports heroes. Powerless young airbrushed women were memorialized in ways they might never live down. Impoverished immigrants who were likely unable to secure honorable, honest work, were hired by filthy business swine to solicit conventioners to purchase sex favors. It seems obvious. I mean, I think this is wrong. What do you think? Uh, I've got to tell you what I think. I think the world needs Jesus. Have you ever heard the old saying, when pigs fly? It indicates a time that will never come. Using the phrase in a sentence, it might be said by an arrogant unbeliever. 
I'll believe in Jesus when pigs fly. The inference being he or she will simply never believe in Jesus. Well, you may think it will never happen, or at least not before pigs fly. But let me tell you something. <laughs> it sort of already happened. And that brings me to a thought that I have about the pandemic. There are worse things than the flu. The pandemic we should fear is the heart disease that destroys souls and such soul-destroying sins go beyond the strip of Las Vegas. Spiritual storms cover our nation. And Jesus knew all about storms. He famously stilled a storm when his terrified friends woke him from a sound sleep. You know the story, I assume. They were sailing across a lake where they would meet a crazy man. He was demon-possessed, perhaps like the swine who depreciate women by photographing naked bodies to pass around as trading cards during conventions. Jesus forced the demons to leave the tormented man, and they inhabited a herd of swine. And the swine flew. Literally, they flew right off the cliff into the waters below. Those pigs could fly, but they could not swim. As described in Luke chapter 8, verse 33, they drowned. Do you feel bound, abused, degraded? Or maybe you feel like you're drowning. You're in over your head. Are you drowning? Permit me to ask you if you believe in Jesus. Like I said, those swine flew. <laughs> Go ahead, just give your life to Jesus. You don't need to wait till some other pigs fly. Do you have a better plan? If so, tell me about it. If not, consider God. What do you have to lose? Till next time, Shalom.